Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I've been doing some, been doing some stuff. Let's uh, let's take a quick little show and tell, then I'll tell you what we're gonna get into for this episode. So I completed the drawer wall because I started running out of space, and I organized things a wee bit better. Uh, having um, iron seeds, I went and made iron chests and gold seeds, but I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> we're getting there now. Uh, I don't know if I did this last episode. I think I did. But, um, uh oh. Um, okay. Uh, my monitor plug just went out. Okay, we're, we're good. We're back. Alright, um, another thing is if you grind up wheat, it gives you flour. And if you wash it in the fan, it gives you dough balls. And if you cook it in the furnace, it gives you bread. You can also mix the dough balls to get, uh, with green, with lime green dye to get uh, slime balls, which will be something we might be using in the future. Um, I was trying to think of a creative way to get ender pearls, but uh, besides a cleric or trading pigmen, I don't really think there's a solid way of doing it, except maybe a mob farm, and I was going to try to skip that this this time, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I moved the Batania stuff, as you saw. I upgraded this to the next tier. I haven't mined it at all yet. It's astral sorcery now, so it's going to be a lot of marble and astral sorcery-like things. Which means we'll get into that mod pack, which I might have to do a little bit of research. I spawned in my sheep and bred them a couple of times, bred all the other things a couple of times. Made a bunch of pots and seeds. Um, uh, what are the new ones? Coal and stone, maybe. And gold, I think, are the ones I made that are new. And then I have the iron. For Inferium, I added pumpkins and watermelons so I could get that quest out of the way. And I got the water and dirt over here, and bamboo here. I got rid of the rice because I think I have enough. I have like three stacks of the, the, the thatching stuff, the, the, the stalks. Uh, something destroyed one of my plants. Uh, I went AFK for literally all night. I was in a little dirt hut for eight hours <laughs> to... Uh, to get a bunch of the stuff stacked up so I could actually do things. Uh, these are actually pretty slow. Um, I did also move a bunch of different seeds over here and I'm just replacing like dirt and water seeds with better seeds as I get them. And I've been upgrading the farmland in those and replacing the farmland over here with the better ones as I go. Instead of wasting it, I figured a couple ticks faster is better than just, you know, digging it up and ruining it. So. There's that. I made a Silk Touch Paxel to move grass uh, because I went and I uh, finished the second layer up here, finished the bamboo, and built this here uh, hall of bees, which um, I want to get glass, and that's what this episode's going to be about, um, so I can do some better building. Um, I got two more bees from the thing. I have them in bottles and a chest because this thing can only hold three at a time. So. Yeah, as you can see, this thing's going. This thing's going pretty good. But I want to get glass for glass bottles, and I want to get uh, glass to build with. Uh, I think that's just going to be going to be a good choice. So this episode, we're going to pretty much uh, we're going to go to the Nether. I'm going to make armor. I wanted to make a weirding gadget, but it takes an Ender Pearl, and I don't have any reasonable way of getting that that I know of. So yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, uh, so we're gonna go to the nether. I want to make some armor first because, you know, that's just a good idea. A full set of armor is 5, 4, 9, 9, 7, 16, and 8 is 24. So we need 24 ingots here. I need one diamond, which is perfect because I'm gonna... Oh wait, I need... I need five diamonds for the project I got coming up. Oh, that's alright. I'm um, going to make diamond seeds and the uh, eternal, this thing, we're going to make this, but that could be for next episode. I'll get another diamond between then. Uh, so we're going to make uh, the mana tablet, and we're going to make uh, mana steel armor for mana steel. Yeah, mana steel armor for, uh, for the nether. I probably should do something with gold, but I figured... You know, for at this point, I might as well do this because it's never going to break, as long as I have mana anyway. 
uh, one way to get an ender pearl is getting a catalyst for this and dunking in a gas tier, but the catalyst thing actually costs an ender pearl, so that kind of screwed me there too. Uh, we'll we'll work on something. I I'm thinking pigmen, a cleric, or um, making a mob farm is going to be the only way to do that. Uh, but you know we're it's it is what it is. We'll we'll sort that out when the time comes. Um, I'm gonna make this armor, charge this thing, then we're gonna make the um, we're going to make the uh, por uh, the portal to go, and the goal the the short term goal the goal that I don't want to leave there without is going to be getting um, that looks snazzy, don't it? I'm snazzy. But, uh, the goal is going to be quartz seeds and fire seeds, uh, short term, uh, long term is going to be just kind of exploring. I wanted to get into the bees and get some, like, the ghostly bee and stuff, but I think I'll save that for its own episode. The bees seem to be fairly complicated, so I don't want to, don't want to overdo that, like, until I understand it better. So I need my wand. Yeah, here it is. Um, this is the Paxil I made. I just made it iron, so it has magnetic, and I threw one piece of agate on it, which is going to give it silky, which makes it that I could transfer grass. I just thought it'd be easier than most other methods. Now, I'm not sure. You have to set this to push or pull. Yeah, okay. So then that will fill up a decent amount, use a good bit of the mana. I think I'm going to fill it up all the way, because, or at least all that I have, because, you know, I'm going to be, I have like, I have plenty of coal now, so I could just, you know, make more and more mana. Unfortunately, though, it seems like this is sucking up a lot. Uh, oh, well. Uh, I think that's good. Let's just grab it, see where we're at. Oh, it is full. That's, okay. Can I wear this? As a as a bobble somewhere. I I was kind of really hoping that I could I could make this a bobble. I guess not. Oh well, that's fine. Um, so when I do this, I didn't grind as much as I wanted to, but I plan to go to the Nether this episode. So you know, I don't really need it. Uh, I can't put stone on this side, because it's within the range of the orchid. So, stone's on this side, wood's on this side, unless I move it again. Um, but that that's quite alright. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it kind of works out, because then I get equal amounts. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Uh, an ender pearl is... Or, yeah, an ender pearl. A nether portal is ten of these. be ten obsidian. That's more than ten. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, so ten of these. I'm gonna need some sort of building block. I'm not sure where I want to put this. Uh, it's gonna be permanent wherever I decide to put it because I'm not gonna dig obsidian. That's gonna be, that's gonna be annoying. That's why I didn't go the blaze mesh path. Mate, bla blaze mesh path because, um, first off, I gotta make a blaze, and I'm not sure how that would work with uh with a mob farm, and I have to dig up the obsidian. This way, I get pretty much free obsidian that I don't have to dig up, which is much better, much more ideal. And I don't know why I keep doing that. Granted, I don't really use this that much. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> that was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got kind of bored. So I think we're going to put the portal over here, and it's going to be, like, right here. I think it'll be fine. I might not actually need any blocks after all, because I'm not sure, but I think this is four high, so if I put... Yay, I don't have to dig up obsidian. Perfect. And I'm forgetting something. I gotta go get a flint and steel. 
and probably more food, and probably put away some of the stuff that I don't want to risk having in the nether. Now, gravestone mods are in here, so it's not that big of a deal if I die, but I don't really want to, I don't really want to die. I got vexed again. That's why I built that little thing around the platform up there, because, uh, one, I was thinking about saving a zombie villager to try to get an iron golem to spawn in, but that's going to be another episode, and, um... This would keep most of the mobs from killing me, except for vexes, which I don't have a, I don't have a method of getting rid of those yet. And I did start doing this, so I could get rid of, I got rid of my melon slices, I got rid of a couple stacks of different saplings, I got rid of some of the seeds, uh, to make some bone meal, which, uh, I, it, it's fine either way. It's not something I needed, it's not something I didn't, it's something I wanted, not needed, I guess. I will take some bread. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of these. Um, I'm thinking... In case we encounter a bee, I'm not sure if they're naturally spawning, but in case we encounter a bee, I think I'm going to take a glass bottle. I only have one. But if we encounter a bee, then I got, you know, said bee. So that'll be, that'll be nice. And let's make the, uh, let's make the flint and steel before I forget. It's going to be essential. And I should probably take building blocks as well. Um, I made a ridiculous amount of stone and cobblestone. This was the the fruit of my labors of... Um, let's take the building gadget too. I think that would be, that'd be good. That is the fruit of my labors of, you know, AFKing overnight. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about doing that. But those botany pots were so slow. Like, I actually built all this, and I used everything I got just to make, like, these couple of hoppers, so, um, AFKing for eight hours got me, uh, got me a decent setup, so, you know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it, but, oh, wait, 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 one more thing, uh, fire seeds need lava, so I want to get four buckets of lava if I can, because then I can basically have infinite lava in the overworld, which is something that's probably a good idea, so we're going to throw the buckets on the ground. Uh, we're going to make four buckets and try to get four buckets of lava, four pieces of quartz. That's the that's the uh, low that, that's the short goal. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of look around. Um, I'm not going to place a lot of faith in getting a bee. I'm not going to place a lot of faith in getting an ender pearl. But we'll We'll go ahead and see what the uh, Nether has to offer. This might be a fairly shorter episode, because uh, I didn't really plan a lot besides going to the Nether. But there is the... Um, there is... This might lag, so... Let me, oh, no, we're here. Okay, good. Um, let's uh, get rid of this. No, what are you doing? Get out of there. Okay, so I got rid of the... The uh, uh, mob spawning overlay thing. Uh, so piglins can put me at risk because I ain't wearing any gold armor. But we're just gonna just gonna hope for the best. Oh man, we're lagging. Um, I also made a imperial pickaxe, and it seems to only work on silent gem ores. I didn't get extra diamonds or emeralds or anything like that. Like, it's not full-fledged fortune. So, that's something to keep in mind. I'm thinking, do I want to get four crimson iron while I'm here? Because I can make a crimson iron seed. And i just seen some, like, right next to me. So, maybe we'll grab that while we're here, too. Uh, getting lava is probably... Don't look at me like that. Getting lava might be a... It's a pretty big deal. Let's go ahead and do this, because I think there are crimson iron seeds. Oh, uh, what is that? That is not... That is not crimson iron ore. Uh, what is this? It's a one-for-one one steel, so that's not too bad. Uh, maybe I should have silk-touched it, but I needed four, so... That, that'll, that'll work. We got four. Let's, uh, 
Uh, let's see, how can I get to some lava without dying? That looks like a nice pool down there. There's a piglin. But I have armor and a decent sword, so I think we'll be okay to dispatch him. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's set this for this. And let's see about... see about closing some of that off for safety reasons. Is this soul stone or soul sand? This is soul stone and it has solium. Um, that's... Uh, that could be a job for another episode. I will dig down through this, because then whatever we get is cool, but I don't know how much of the, the mob stuff I want to do in mystical agriculture. It could be a bit annoying, so... Uh, we can get some of this for sample purposes, but overall, um, I don't want to have to kill, like, 40 blazes or 40 whatevers to, to get drops from it. That would just be, that just sounds like torture to me, so, let's, uh, I'm particularly going through the areas that I can get more of that stuff, but you get me. You're picking up what I'm putting down. The, the goal is to get to the lava, so. We might possibly, there is another section in the, the one block, so we might actually do that at some point too. I think I have to mine like a million, million blocks. Like it took a while to get, to get what I got to. I think I'm at like 2,000 blocks or something. Oh, this isn't a lava lake. Oh, that's gonna be... I, I am not going up there four different places to get a mushroom. Mm, I'll take it. Um, I could shear the... Uh, I could shear the mushrooms to get those, but... I mean, I might as well not do that if I don't have to. I don't know what these are, but I want them. They give off a light source, so that could be an interesting way to feed the bees. Nether cobalt, huh. Now, let's stay on topic. Don't wanna don't wanna get too too far out of it. Man, I wish I had a vein miner. I would grab like a bunch of that too. And that's mission accomplished. Um, so let's get back to the safety of our port. Ooh, there's that's a no, that's a is that a Tinker Slime Island? I think that could be interesting. At least that's close by. I want to get back to the to the safety of my my portal area, and I want to check. Okay, I thought that was a Wither Skeleton. Uh, I want to check the map to see what is. That's a Piglin over there. Let's try to avoid him. Don't wanna don't wanna make anyone angry. Uh, let's uh, pop back up here. We'll check the map and see if we can see anything that looks nether fortressy. Uh, those wolf guys can be bad news too. I mean, with the armor and sword I got, I ain't worried about them. Them, but they could be bad news. Let's uh, okay. What is it? M for map. It should be M for map. J. Journey maps? No. Uh, did I remove the the keybind for something else because I don't use the map on a on a skyblock? Is that something I did? Let's see. I can't remember what the the name of the map mod is in this. The Quarios? Zario's map or something? Zario's map. That's close. Yeah, so... In large maps, probably... Probably what I'm looking for. Let's go to... This. We'll set this to 9. 
9 is taken. Now let's show the conflicts. Where is 9? It's probably something I'm never going to use. <laughs> because that's usually... Yeah, that's 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 right. It's something I'm never going to use. And... Okay, then we're good. So let's hit the 9 key. Okay, I'm just going to do that. That, that works, though. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything that's clearly another fortress, but we can we can work on that a little later. Uh, let's head back. We got what we came for. We can do fire seeds, and we can do quartz seeds, and we can do rock or the red red crimson crimson iron seeds if we want to. That could be an option. Uh, let's go through the portal, and if it if it lags, then I'll probably um, just you know. Okay, we're good. This mod pack is running really good. I mean, it's not a whole ton of mods, so that's one good thing, but they do have a few really, really big mods in here. So I'm going to kind of just plop all this away. I'm not going to do the seed recipes on camera, because it's it's real simple stuff. Like, you're just going to watch me do the infusion over and over and over and over. And that's just not something that I find particularly entertaining, so we're just not going to do that. Um, let's go into here. Let's drop off some of our tools. We could put the buckets of lava in here, because why not? And that's probably good enough for now. I'm probably going to upgrade these as well. I wasn't going to, because they're just going to be like a mosh pit of all the resources, but I just decided that, you know, we do the, the junk chests first. Um, but okay, uh, let's clear our quests. Let's see what we got. As you can see, I got all of these except for cabbage. I don't know why I didn't get cabbage. I don't know where it's at, how to get it. I'll probably bone mill some grass later and hope for the best. Ores, we got a few of these. Uh, I might get more from throwing it through the grinder, but I'll look up the recipe to make sure it works. And that gives us a couple. Overworld, uh, I killed enough mobs. That's great. Uh, I haven't started using these yet, but now that I have a diamond one, that might be kind of cool. And that is that for quests. Now uh, let's get rid of this junk. Not, uh, I made a sturdy repair kit for my uranium thing too. I wanted to wait till I could get a better one. It costs a diamond. Probably not the best choice, but... You know, it's, it's done and over with, so... Yeah. And as I said, I'm not gonna do the seeds on camera. That's just going to be annoying. What can we do? I think that's going to end it for this. I think that pretty much got what we wanted to get to. Um, did the whole show and tell thing. The whole thing is I want to grind up a ton of uh, sand. So I can make a bunch of glass to do all kinds of fancy stuff with like the bee house and what I'm going to do with the villagers and stuff like that. And this is what we have to work with. I think I figured out to make the permanent crystal and a diamond seed. It's going to cost me 11 supremium. So I have 13. I'll probably use the extra. I don't need. Yeah 11. Because take 4 for the seed. I think it was 6 for the gem. And then 1 for the dirt. So then I'll have 2 left over. Which I can upgrade these with. I think to get inferium a little bit quicker. And that'll be that. Um, yeah. That's good enough. I. Uh, I figured this would be a little bit shorter of an episode, but I wanted to do a little bit of a catch-up. wanted to show off some of the stuff I've been doing, and I wanted to get to the nether to get some of these resources so we could we can move on on certain things. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one.